Good day to everyone. I'm Matt Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Lolo's channel. For today's video, we are gonna take you to another walkthrough, to a part two of the commercial system walkthrough here at Iban, Batangas. So, in the first part of the video of the commercial system, we showed you uh, fish tank one and fish tank number two. So, fish tank one has red tilapia, fish tank number two has keto. So, for this walkthrough, we'll show you system number four and system number three. Okay, so follow me and let's go to the system. So let's first look at the reading, sensor reading of pH of, for sensor number, for system number one. So the TDS here is 336, the pH is still high at 8, uh, and then our temperature is a little low at 28.5 degrees Celsius, okay? So... As you can see, we have uh, trellises here. We attached some nylon string here. So, uh, we will grow there tomatoes and cucumber. So, this system had two typhoons. So, so it encountered two typhoons, but because the structure is well engineered, it survived the typhoons. Uh, the other greenhouse on the property, on the other hand, which were made with UV plastic and GI pipes did not survive. So this structure survived two typhoons. But the, because of the two typhoons and the rainy season, the sunlight here was very low. So the hours of sunlight the plants were receiving were very low. So the plants were not happy. So they received new lettuce seedlings. Uh, these are curly leaf lettuce. And they're waiting for it to grow. Okay, so follow me. Let's go. So those are all new, new seedlings of curly leaf lettuce. So again, let's go here to look at uh, the progress of the tilapia. So I'm going to get some feeds. So here we have 1,000 red tilapia. They're now big, no? So let's see if they're hungry. So they're a bit shy, so they're shy of the camera. So at the far end of the tank, you'll see them feeding. Okay, so in the middle, you will see there's a solid lifting outlet. So the solid lifting outlet takes in the solid from the center of the conical bottom fish tank and delivers it to our DuraFlow filter max over here. So this is the DuraFlow filter max. It has a static Oh, sorry, it has a radial flow in the center, a static uh, bed on the outer chamber, another radial flow here, and an MBBR on the outer part of the uh, filter. And then it exits back to our uh, floating raft over here. Okay? So th those are newly seeded cucumbers. So we will transplant them in the trellises on the sides, okay? So now let's go to system number two. So in system number two, we have uh, Hito. So let's look at the Hito, let's feed them. Let's see if they are hungry. The Hito are very shy. The Hito here, are now as big as my uh, arm, no? Some of the hito here are as big as my arm. And they are on uh, the bottom of the duck. See, that there's uh, some hito here on the side. I don't know if the camera can see them. They are afraid of the light. See, that's a big one over there. That's a big... There, that's a big one. So they're afraid of my voice. So let's pan the camera a little bit more. Let's see if we can see some of the hito. Okay, so there are a thousand catfish here, no? In Tagalog hito. So it, it has the same system. Uh, the 6,000 liter conical bottom tank has a SLO, solid lifting overflow or outlet at the center. And then it now goes to the filter or the Dura Flow Max. So the Dura Flow Max again has the radial flow, the static, another radial, and then the MBBR here. Okay, so the, the MBBR has media pellets 
which converts the ammonia into nitrates and then it exits to our floating rack over there so again we have newly seeded uh, lettuce seedlings on the racks okay so then let's now go to our next system so system number three or fission number three has pangasius or what we call green dory so let's feed the green dory let's see if they're hungry so we brought them here as fingerlings. They were this big. Now, they're now almost uh, five inches. So it's a mixture of black pangasius and al albino pangasius. Okay? They're a bit shy of the camera because our camera has lighting. So they're afraid of the light. So again, I'll step back so you can see. I'll step back a little so you can see them feeding. Okay? So, see how big the pangas are? So again, it has an SLO, and then it will exit our filter over here. So it's the same design, the DuraFlow Max. It's called the DuraFlow because it has a dual radial stage. So, Dura, du, dual, and rad, Ra is rad, radial flow, okay? So, let's now go to the fourth system. So in the fourth system, here we have koi. So these are local island bred Japanese koi. Let's feed them. Let's see if they're hungry. Let's shake it. They like the noise of our feed. Okay. I'll step back so you can see if they're gonna feed. So I, I think they're already uh, full because we fed them already, okay? So let's look at the koi later. They're, they're afraid of the camera because the camera has lights, okay? So then from the solid lifting outlet, similar to system 1, 2, and 3, it now goes here, okay? Let's look at the door of open from here. So the DuraFlow filter has a radial static, another radial, and another MDDR here. Then from the MDDR, it exits here, okay? So here we are testing uh, new seeds from uh, the Netherlands. So they are pelletized seeds. Uh, the name is over there. I, let me read the name. Uh, it's uh, Concorde, okay? And then we also have here some, some other varieties. The Rincon, it's like a Romaine one. And over here, let's see what variety is this. This is Lalique. Uh, this is a hybrid of iceberg and uh, another variety of lettuce. And these are curly leaf lettuce. So these are Invicta. And over here, we have a different variety. Uh, these are Junction. On the far side, let me get one. Uh, let me get them uh, there. So these are is junction, okay? So these are important, imported seeds, and we're testing them if they're applicable in the climate here. So let's look at our uh, deep water culture over here. So as you can see, solid is already building up in our deep culture bed. So what do we do with that solids? In order to further uh, process that solid, you will add ulang. So here, let's go here. We have ulang here. So this ulang has been acclimatizing for 10 minutes now. Let's remove the hose first. Okay, let me set this aside. Let, let's see if the camera can see the ulang. So these are about 100 ulang. So we added 100 ulang per grow bed. So that's eight grow bed, a total of 1,000 ulang. So now we will add the ulang. Okay, we'll add 50% of the water from the uh, grow bed and then slowly release the ulang. Let me see if I can catch one, okay? 
I don't want to stress out the ulang. So because they already traveled a very long uh, journey from uh, from the hatchery to to the. So those are the ulang. Some were, some died due to the travel, but some are. Okay, let me see. So can you see the ulang? Can you focus on the ulangs? So they're still small. Let's see if there are some some left in the plastic. Don't want them. Don't want to leave some. So there's one left here. Then we will reverse the plastic and then rinse it in the raft to make sure that all the ulang are inside the raft. Okay. So that's about a hundred ulang in a twenty-five. Uh, meter long uh, deep water culture bed okay so they, the ulang will process the undigested uh, fish feeds that settle down the bottom of our rock beds so let's again let's look at the koi they're now feeding I think they're feeding they're a bit shy they're camera shy right now but when there's no camera they are very voracious eaters. We brought the koi here at around uh, 2 inches. So the koi now are around 5 inches. So in a span of uh, around 2 months, they've grown or they doubled the size already. Let's see if the camera can spot the koi. We have some koi here. Okay. So to recap, again, we have a commercial system. So the commercial system is uh, four systems. So let's look at system number one first. So one, two, three, and four. So four systems. And then uh, in system number one, we have the tilapia. In system number two, we have catfish. In system number three, we have uh, pangasius. And in system number uh, four, we have koi. So this is a demonstration farm. We are demonstrating that in aquaponics, you can take care of uh, tilapia, which you can use for uh, meat. And then you can also have catfish. You can also have uh, pangasius, which, can, which you can fillet. And if you don't want to eat your fish, you can have koi, okay? So the koi is ornamental, so you can have uh, uh, ornamental fish in your aquaponic system. So as long as they are freshwater fish, you can take care of it in an aquaponic system. So if you have uh, more questions about aquaponics, we have our Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. We also have our YouTube channel, Madodel. So in our YouTube channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment if you have questions. Also, hit the notification bell if you want to get updated on our future videos. So again, thank you for watching.